Previously, the only option to scan a CT on an equine patient would have been under general anesthesia. And for a horse or any other animal, really, that's a tremendous risk. We've had the equine CT since 2019. Since then, we've done at least, I would say, 400 CTs in total. Horses do get injured, a lot of different types of injuries. So we believe that uh, we're gonna continue to see more uses of the technology in order to benefit equine surgeons to be able to treat their patients. With this standing CT, we're able to get everything that we need and more, and all we need is a little bit of standing sedation. We did a trial here at the University of Minnesota Leatherdale to see how far we can reach. We were able to put the horse in dorsal recumbency. With an adult horse, we were able to get all the way down to C7, T1. Horses get injured in all kinds of ways, and we see this technology as being a tremendous aid in diagnosing the diseases of the limbs, as well as injuries to the head and the neck. It's a big impact, the fact that you can get all the way down there. It's been tremendous in the sense that it's a three-dimensional diagnostic, and instead of getting four or five images on x-rays, you're getting three to 400 on all different axes. Now that we can get there, get those horses in, and be able to detect injuries or lesions or changes before they become a major issue for the horse. We didn't have that power beforehand. We just rely on x-rays. Now we're able to do routine CTs on everything. And it's made us better diagnosticianers and, and that way we can be better at giving a diagnosis and a prognosis for clients. The CT has changed our lives tremendously. What we did in here today would have taken me 12 hours in radiology. It's safer for our patients, less time consuming for us, and less costly to the client. There's always a few skeptics who are not sure what this technology can do, and we have instantly turned them into believers.